Hi everybody, I am Cookie Dough and welcome back to an all new video series uh, for Victoria 2. Uh, so yeah, uh, we uh, have gotten, uh, uh, what was it, about a week ago, a uh, week and a half ago, we have uh, gotten the new release date for Victoria 3. And I figured what better way than um, uh, to celebrate that, I guess, uh, I would be playing a Let's Play for Victoria 2. Uh, I really enjoyed this game. <clears throat> uh, the thing is, I have not played this in quite a few years. Uh, so let's hope I uh, don't make a full mess of it and I remember at least most of it, which I think I should. Uh, at least it'll be uh, fun and uh, silly uh, with all the mistakes that I do make. Uh, so anyways, in this uh, Let's Play, I have picked uh, Spain. Uh, I didn't want to pick anyone too easy or way too hard, just because I haven't played uh, too long. And I think Spain is uh, decently in the middle. I know they have some issues, but they are to start a great power and they can... Uh, uh, and they do have some potential as long as we uh, do all the steps hopefully correctly and industrialize as needed. Uh, so let's uh, just get into it and set up first. Uh, let me get some technology going. Uh, so what I am thinking either first is either getting medicine just so we can have uh, a little less uh, pop decline. Or another thing I was thinking, since we do have potential for already seven uh, um, uh, focus points, I was thinking of just getting a focus, another focus point, or even just going into education efficiency because our literacy is only at 13%, which is quite abysmal. Uh, but I think I will actually go first with a national focus so let's do that let's just get a national focus and then probably after that some positivism for educational efficiency and medicine after that so yeah let's get ideological thought start the research here uh, our budget uh, we will tax the crap out of everyone because uh, that's what I've always been doing in this game from the start uh, I don't think we will be needing our ships just at the moment. Okay, let's try to get the education all the way up. Actually, let's get it down to about 80%. And the same thing, about 75% for admin here. Uh, social spending, sure, that sounds fine. And let's get at least our military spending to 75 because people do want to be in the military unfortunately that will run us still a pretty high deficit I don't know if the tariffs can help us any uh, we'll put them up all the way for now uh, so let's see here we do have some um, rebellions in our country uh, which are I think the Carlist. Oh yes, the Carlist rebels because that is the first thing. So we do have a pretty big army here. So I will just get them to go and clean all of this up. And we have another couple of stacks here uh, of our military, which I think I might cut that down just slightly, just so it's not as much of a money drain. And our focus points so Valencia and Cas Castilla -la, Nue La Nueva there we go those are our highest population we do have some pretty high population provinces which is very very nice but we will go ahead and start with clergymen right away and it's quite abysmal what we have we have 1% in Valencia and 1% in Castilla La Nueva uh, so at the moment, I'll probably just try to go to two everywhere and I try to raise it to close to four. Uh, because yeah, if you hover over here, uh, there's somewhere where there's a tooltip that does explain some of that. Is it under here? No. 
yeah there you go two percent is optimal but i think four percent just does give you a bit better uh so the two percent is optimal for research points but the four will actually get your literacy to go up faster but for right now we will get to two at least and go from there and other than that let's just unpause and actually increase the speed of our game uh let's go speed four why not for now no, actually we are making some slight money but that's okay let's get these rebels out of the way and actually these guys here could go deal with them why not so let's do that and then oops as you select it so you go here and then just go down there and then we'll see what we can do with our army afterwards uh, another thing I like doing we will probably go right away and get these are some moves I remember from <laughs> from back a few years when I did used to play this game quite a bit uh, is to get East Hauseland here uh, maybe even another province uh, in uh, in Sokoto here. Uh, if you go check the population density map mode, East Hauseland has quite a bit of population up here, and maybe even uh, Benin down here. Just uh, we'll see how how the war goes. But what I will start doing is to justify a war and. It is, I believe, demand concession. Uh, declare to demand concession will go with the take only. Yes. Not cut down demand concession. Yeah. Territories to a former colonial concession. Former colonial. Yes. So let's do that. Demand concession while we're still a great power. And another thing what we can do is actually do some influence. Uh, so one thing I do want to influence is Portugal so I will get you to go full out here we are already cordial with them and uh, who else would we be able to influence uh, Morocco so let's try to get some Morocco going here uh, and maybe Algiers but not at the moment because Algiers could be subject to being attacked by the French and we do not want to get with an early war with the French that definitely would not bode well for us and of course we get discovered right away which is a little bit of a crappy thing you guys can just come here and deal with that so we have here some ships so one thing I do want to do let's get all my ships to well at least these so let's get these guys you guys come back to here please this might not go well for us all right you guys come to Valencia you guys come here and you guys come here Let's see if we can reorganize this military. And let's try to reduce some of these tariffs so we do still sell some stuff. Put down to maybe 80%. Let's see how that's going to work out for us. The middle class is not getting some of their needs met, but you guys just hold fast there. So, actually, let's do this here. So let's do this here for now and then let's see we these guys might have to get uh, yeah these guys I will probably disband so yeah let's disband these guys because they only have oh it's only it's 992 so they might be okay anyways let's let's keep them around so I will get one of these I'll get one, two, three, four infantry. Hmm, do 
Do I get a... Yeah, because we could probably get a... Uh, uh, artillery here but no let's get just another here so close get these 18 guys here and then we will make another army should be another one of these and one two three four five you guys will go Alicante here for now. Actually, no. Go to Cadiz. No. You guys go here with the 20. Yeah, that should be good enough. So we have 18. And these guys here, you guys go to Cadiz. There we go. Okay, let's unpause and wait for our ships to come back. And we can raise our okay we can raise our increase opinion please yes beautiful now they're friendly we'll get them into our sphere okay we can do some so let's get this to 75 maybe even 70 yeah Let's try to get to sell some stuff here. Okay, there's our ships coming into port. How are they doing? They're not doing that great. But that should be a-okay. So let's try to maybe increase it to 50%. This will definitely get me into a uh, deficit. How's the... Oh, we already have the war. Yeah, you know what? Send a Spanish expedition. Hell yeah, the, I'll definitely get the nice uh, prestige. So declare war. Yeah, we can do that. So let us get... Yeah, let's not take all of our ships, even though that might not be the best route to take. Oh, but we do have a nice colony here. That's nice. That is very, very nice. So, I will take my three transports. Actually, no. Let's do this and let's take these three transports here. Let's take these three transports, get them to Cadiz. And you guys go to Cadiz, please. And we will be declaring war on Sokoto in a jiffy here. Yeah, that should be fine. So, we will take you, go on the ship, and come down here, please. Uh, we could expand our naval base here in Fernando Po, which I think I might do. We do have enough money, so let's do that, please. Yes, let's expand that naval base. Start off with that right away, and we can do Morocco. I hate that that doesn't get me to Morocco. So, in, no, not increase, increase opinion. Thank you, now we're cordial. That is very nice. And how is our ships going? Yeah, they're kind of slow. That should be fine. That should definitely be fine. How long does this our last? Till 27 June of next year. Oh, Portugal wants an alliance. Oh. Not for now, sure. And Sweden wants an alliance. Yeah, we'll take that alliance. That's fine. And we'll try to get a great power to ally us as well. Okay. We'll go here, get these guys to Benin. And 
let's see if any of the great powers would like to ally us. How are you guys? Form alliance would not accept negative relations. Okay, so let's increase relations, please. The, the Prussians. Uh, the English, possibly. Russians, not so much. But let's increase, anyways, with a bunch of these guys. The French, I definitely want to pummel, but that hopefully not till later on. So there we go. How long would it take us? There we go. We are here, so we will send these guys back to Cadiz to pick up some more men. And let's declare war. Yeah, they don't have anyone that's influencing them. The main concession and East Hauseland. And please proceed. There we go. We are at war. So let's go here and just siege that province for now. Till we get some more men. Let's definitely need some more men. And if the war does go a little bit longer, we can always... Another one. And one, two, three, four... Sure, five. Sounds good. So if anything goes wrong, we will have another another army to go. But for now, I think this should definitely be quite enough troops. Uh, yeah, that's a decent start so far. Um, I actually thought we would be losing quite a lot more money than we are. But let's get the tariffs down even more. Let's try to get them to 50%. Yeah, this will get a little quicker, so 50% here, uh, even a little more, 40%, that sounds good. Uh, hmm. No, we don't need the money, so don't touch the Holy Church, that sounds fine. Okay, there we go. We did some sieging, nice. So let's go to Bida here and let's get these guys to friendly please. Yes, nice. And how close are we on Portugal here? Okay, we're almost, we're almost going to be able to put them in, into our sphere. So these guys here, please get on the ship and come down here. And let's just go ahead and siege and then as soon as this is done sieging and we get our more men we will go and beat them up because they should be quite backwards uh, what is there they have zero army tech while we have five so that is very nice it's just our research is going abysmally slow abysmally slow how are we doing here with, uh, so we increased to 1.6 and 1.7, that's nice. I definitely like that. Okay, our ships should be around the corner here. There we go, and I am going to wait. There we go, and get these guys to Venom, please. As soon as these guys offload, we'll do this. So this is 20th, 24th. So let's wait a couple of days. Okay, these guys are not doing anything. So let's bring them up here, please. Okay. Uh, no. So let's get these guys here. Let's see how. First, so let's see how quick we can We're not gonna run away. That's perfect. And we will go and beat these guys up quite nicely. Hopefully, we stack wipe uh, outbreak of smallpox. Do what we can, every life is precious. Uh, yes, please do what we can, every life is precious. And you guys go ahead and siege the capital there and 
you guys come here and most likely beat these guys up some more there we go and that's that's it for the Sokotans nice beautiful and now we can just sit back and siege so let's get oops nope let's get the tariffs to 25% hopefully that'll help us out a bit ah, there's the Portuguese and add to sphere nice there we go they are in our sphere and I will just leave it at one just to kind of get some things going here uh, another thing that I might want to influence is Egypt early on I know England is a cordial but let's get Egypt going that will definitely help us out and oops let's increase some more uh, uh, some more uh, relations here with these countries again I am planning to go to war with France but not in the any near future for now and can we add not yet okay it is growing so we will be able to add because I will add a uh, Sokot Benin uh, no thanks no thanks. Go. Let's do this. Okay. Cancel that, please. It's growing. It's growing very, very soon here. You guys, come here, please. And all of these guys are having some of their stuff revoked. Yeah, because they're ready to already give me the piece that I'm asking for, but. I definitely do want another, another province while we are here. We are losing some money for now, so that's fine. Then get, I mean, Sokoto, get out of here. Okay, uh, how is this going here? Okay, 1.8. Okay, these guys are two, so let's get Leon Castilla. Uh, there to get you to increase. We're almost here with these guys, and we're kind of close with getting another focus point. Ah, there is goes the Moroccans, and we can add the sphere, the Moroccans, please. There we go. It's just one. Yeah, sure, let's do that. That's fine. And can we add a Borgo? Um, oh, it went down. Why did we go down? Why are we going down? No. Okay. This is a little concerning. Why did we go down? I wanted to... I want to add another Borgo. Come on now. Come on, game. You were at like 6.7. Hmm. Let's go game. We once we get them. Okay, let's get their capital region here fully occupied and maybe that'll help. Alright, so we do now have finally a second uh I mean, uh, folk, national focus point, which is absolutely fantastic. So we will get, yes, let's get positivism for now. So start research and right away go to Basconia, Aragon and get you to get some clergy as well. And you are a two, so Catalonia, please get some clergy from Valencia. And let's do this. Is this Egypt? Yes. Beautiful. So 
Egypt, increase opinion. I am just wondering if... Okay, these guys are not doing anything, so that's perfect. And I'm hoping I'm going to stay at least for now. How's Belgium doing? They have 60 total points. I have 71, which I should get some from this war. Zoba, so what does this give me? I will gain a bunch of money, a bunch of prestige. The Papal States will not like me that much. And conservative gain for militancy. Our militancy is pretty low. I do like the money. I do like the money quite a lot. It's quite a lot of money. Yeah. Okay, so let's try to read this. The ecclesiastic, ecclesiastical confiscation of, of Mendizabel were a series of decrees issued between 1835 and 37 aimed at the privatization and expropriation of monastic land and property in Spain, inspired by anti-clerical liberalism and the polarization of Spanish society during the events of the Carlist Wars, the decrees led to the abandonment, abandonment of many ancient Spanish monasteries. Okay, I think that should be fine. The only thing is they will become 15% more in favor of atheism, which is something that probably the liberals are no, not really. They're more of moralism. Yeah, everyone is in moralism, but does this actually uh, mean all pop? You know what? I like the money. What could possibly go wrong? So let's do that. So we have money now. And let's... Uh, we already have a naval base there. Do we have a naval base everywhere else? One here. We don't have one in Bilbao, so let's do that. Uh, I'm doing the naval bases right now so that we can uh, uh, set ourselves up for some nice, uh, what's it called, uh, some nice colonization later on. And uh, usually in 1870, I believe it starts. So let's see how this is going. It's gone even further down. I don't understand this, so let's see how this is gonna go. So, one on there is one in Valencia, and let's get one in Barcelona as well, please. Morality, morality, and yeah, this is part of Catalonia, which is here. Oh no. Yeah, so I got it in Barcelona. That is nice. Uh, we could... Yeah, so we can probably build another one in Cuba, which we have, or in Puerto Rico. Yes, please do that as well. have some brigades here, which is nice. And the coronation of Queen Victoria, nice. So, now Germany is being able to be formed. No, definitely not gonna shoulder anything and lose prestige. So, there we go. Okay. Come here. You guys come down here. So another place where we do have a colony is the Philippines. And okay, let's just get all the troops up here. And do we have no we don't. So is there multiple Luzon, Visai, Milando, Visai? Okay. Luzon. So we can do have one here. Go 
don't have any in the side. So where do we want to get a... Uh, we don't have one in Dano. Uh, let's do one in here. That sounds fun. Oh! We lost all of our money and are now taking on debt. Not good, not good at all. So let's get the tariffs up again, up to a full 100%. Oh, Egypt, we can go because of the end of you. So now we are friendly, nice, and the British are not doing anything. Beautiful, but the Ottomans are. That is not ideal. Sokoto, how are you doing? Why don't you want to let me add another portal? Please tell me I can add a portal. No, I cannot. Okay, you know what? That is fine. Let's just propose peace. It will accept. And please do that. There we go. And East Houseland is ours. So let's get our troops back home. Or maybe not fully back home. I thought we already had an alliance. But one thing we can do is actually already colonize this. The reason why is uh, the, uh, the life rating is high enough. So I will do that and just expand my colony in here. Which will definitely set us up very nicely for uh, the colonization of the interior of Africa. And here we go with that. How is our stuff going here? 1.4, 1.3, 1.3. Okay, I think this is decent enough at the moment so the one the one question is do I say sail all the way around to the Philippines and the question might be no let's take you back home first and then see what we might want to do but let's get the tariffs down to about 50% again we are making some money here again. And let's just repay the loans because I don't like having loans. But uh, maybe 60 will get us out of the stink. The red, not quite. But that is a okay. Okay, you guys please come down back here. And, uh, okay, I think for now I will put a cut in here. Uh, thanks a lot for coming and watching this new series. Uh, I'm actually excited to play Victoria 2 again. I really like this game. It was, it was a very fun game. And I am so looking forward to Victoria 3. I will most likely be pre-ordering that uh, if I haven't already before I put this video up. Uh, but anyways, thanks a lot for coming and watching, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.